Salut tout le monde! Hello everyone! Today we'll be doing another episode of Insane Aquarium Deluxe. Last time we left off just before starting tank 4-1, and we had just got Rhubarb the Hermit Crab, and finished with the Guppy Crunchers and Beetle Munchers. Uh, today I'm hoping to do the first level or two of tank 4, we've also got this bonus level to do. Um, I'm guessing the levels are probably going to be sort of long, because uh, it gets longer as you go, right? So We'll see how much we can get done in this episode. Um, and as always, we're going to see what weird fish we can get in the tank, and weird pets as well. So we may as well jump right into the bonus level, and get this started. Collecting shells, how exciting. I'm missing all the things. Goodness. I'm not great at this today. It's been a while since I've actually used my computer. Alright, almost done. Oh, okay, I'm just clicking all the things now. There we go. So we got 1,475 shells. That's not bad. 5,000 shells. I'm gonna try and get more so we can see what these bonus pets are by the end of the Let's Play. So, for now, I'm gonna take Rufus, because he was a total badass last time. Uh, Clyde or Stinky? Clyde or Stinky? Maybe both? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go with both, why not? So, ooh, sort of a piratey theme. Oh dear, we have Prego fish things? I do not remember this. This is gonna be really bizarre. Okay. So this is uh, quite a level, it looks like. So you know, we got your pirate-themed backdrop, which is cool. Definitely not an uncommon theme for fish. So the fish now cost 200, and they're called breeders, I guess. It really has been a long time since I've gotten this far into the game. <laughs> oh my, the sound it makes when they birth a guppy. That's quite, quite something makes a big popping sound. Is that as big as the breeders get? I don't know. Hmm. So last time I told you guys that I was gonna get a bird, I ended up doing that. So if you hear cooing, um, yeah I'm gonna try and edit all of that out, but there might be a couple little coos here and there that may escape me. Hopefully they won't go. Ooh, enemy approaching. I wonder what kind it will be. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's one of these guys. It's not too bad. Ah uh, yeah, Rufus. Rufus kicks all the butt. He's just a big butt kicker. So we buy a bunch of breeders now. Oh dear. Okay, so they do get bigger. I'm guessing that's their maximum size. Maybe they can get like all fancy and stuff, like the regular guppies can. How they get a little crown and turn blue. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Man, how did I forget about this breeder thing? It's so weird. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, I got a bird, so... I'm gonna try my best to get all the coos out of the episode, because she coos quite a bit, but... That's also why I haven't, uh put a new Let's Play out recently, aside from, you know, exams. Oh, university life. It is fun stuff. Oh, I love the sound they make when they pop out a guppy, it's hilarious. Okay, eat that please. There we go. <laughs> Just a little popping sound. Oh, that makes me way too happy. Enemy approaching! Oh my goodness! I'll have to sick Rufus on him again. Come on, Rufus! Get over here before he's dead. There we go. Good stuff. Thanks, Rufus. Rufus, the fiddler crab. Oh my goodness, I need some food upgrades here. My fish are getting hungry because I can't drop food quickly. <laughs> Come on, guys, eat! 
There we go. Now I can drop two pieces of food. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Ah, eat, guys. Eat, please. Don't die. Don't die. That would be bad. <sighs> I didn't have enough money to buy food. It's terrible when that happens. It's a very stressful situation. <laughs> ah. This is such a weird level. Goodness gracious. Ah! Eat! So, what's new with you guys? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> I don't really have a great deal of stuff to say today, aside from I really wish I remembered about these breeder things. It's super weird to me. I don't know. Alright guys, please eat. Don't be unhealthy. Ah, go down to the bottom, please. Bottom. That fish is... Ah, it got eaten. Aren't fish getting way too close for comfort? They're like, gee, I wonder what this thing is. It looks so dangerous. I think I'll go and hang out right next to it. Be its best friend. Ah, please eat. I'm trying to pick up money and also feed them. I should probably stop doing both. Get a carnivore in a minute. It's been about six minutes. Maybe we'll make decent time. I don't know. Yeah, looks like this first level won't take too long. It's just a matter of uh, getting the money. Uh, I remember what's the other weird fish we're gonna have in this level though. It's uh, quite a doozy. So I hope you guys are getting excited for Christmas. I'm sort of excited. It's always nice to see family, you know. Christmas time. These breeder things just look super duper weird. I do not get it. Who are they breeding with? What is going on? Sorry fish, you're gonna die. It was a necessary sacrifice. Alright. Dropping food. Alright guys, do your job. Pick up the money. Don't make me pick it all up. Come on. Well, I just can't get over the weird popping sound. It's just way too funny. Imagine if human birth was like that. It just makes a pop and the baby's out. It would be really weird. And easy, I'm guessing. That would be pretty cool, probably. I hear it's a pretty terrible... Well, I hear it's a pretty difficult thing to do. There we go. So we should have time to do the next level. So who do we get? Nimbus the Manta Ray. Ooh. So he tosses stuff to the top of the tank. Oh, that's pretty useful. Um, I'm gonna grab Rufus. I should try this Nimbus guy and go with Clyde. We'll see how it works out anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot. I I forgot like two seconds after reading that he does it with food. So that's pretty useful. It'll save me a tiny bit of money from eating my fish, I guess? I don't know. I don't have to pop out food all the time, so... If I could have like five of that guy to do that with the money and the food and everything, that would be pretty cool. And efficient. <laughs> that fish is like, please, please, I'm so hungry, and then Nimbus is like, nope, food's gone. What a jerk. Alrighty. So hopefully I'll be able to get back to a more or less reg uh, regular schedule of doing Let's Plays. I'm hoping to finish the series pretty soon so I can start on another one. If you guys have any suggestions for games I could try, uh, let me know in the comments. 
I'm open to a lot of games. I've got a few in mind, but we'll see what happens, I guess. I don't know what type that is. Type 1-1? One, one? I, I, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah, its head and its butt can eat fish. That's terrifying. No, 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 no. What is happening? I'm, oh, scary. Okay, that was terrifying. Alright, back to feeding my fishies. So I think that's type 2, because it's got two heads, maybe? It's probably not 11, because that would be weird. Tank 4, 2... Hmm. I think there's only one level in tank 5, so I should be finishing this pretty soon. It's been a fun adventure, you guys. I always enjoy some uh, insane aquarium. It's good stuff. Please eat the food. That would be preferable. Very good. He does a better job than Clyde does. I'm serious. Alright guys, drop some money so I can get you food again. There we go. Oh, another alien thingy that scares the living bejeebus out of me. Please don't kill all my fishies. Or my fishies. They're, they're cool and nice. They're not mean. Ah, oh, no! Go away! I don't like this type of alien. It's too difficult to control. Frightens me a little. Yeah, this Nimbus guy is pretty handy. You can tell what type of approach I take to this game based on the pets I use. Most of them are money related. So. I just, you know, find them money important. Jeez, I'm just, I got so many guppies. It's crazy. Crazy amount of guppies. Alright guys, eat your food. Goodness gracious. There we go. I can drop three foods now. Yeah! What a major accomplishment. I'm really making Nimbus work. But he's so fast, look at him. Also, I really want to know what kind of manta ray that is, because it looks very different from the usual image of manta rays that comes to mind. So, if any of you guys know, let me know. That'd be cool. Okay, another alien thingy. Oh dear, oh dear. Go away, go away, go away. Get away from my fishies! No, 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 not. Oh, that was close to eating my one of my really big friggin' breeder fish. Jeez, terrifying. See, check out that thing that cost 10,000. Isn't that scary looking? It's called a mega carnivore? Oh, no, it's an ultravore. Anyway, I'm pretty sure they eat the carnivores. It's pretty terrifying. Something like that, anyway. I'm sure you guys will have lots of fun with that. I'm gonna buy another carnivore. So we need 25,000 for the shell. Shell pieces. So I'm guessing that those ultravores give a crap load of money. Because otherwise that would be ridiculous. Okay, this manta ray thing is doing an amazing job. Some money and stuff flying everywhere, it's crazy. I'm gonna buy one of those ultra floors. It is my highest priority at the moment. Actually, no, I wanna buy this up here. It's the last food upgrade, I couldn't just not buy it. If Clyde could just follow that manta ray thing, that would be probably pretty efficient. Oh no, another one of those. Yee, they scare me. 
They scare me a little. Oh my gosh! Right in the right, right in the crowd. The ah. Uh, you just ate like almost all my fish. No, 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 no. Go back down. Back. Stay. Stay there. Bad. Bad alien thing. It is sort of piratey looking. Mm. It looks like a fish from a from a pirate's nightmares. I don't know. I think I was running low on breeders. I'm not really sure. In any case, I'm not now. So that's the important thing. They pop out guppies like it's nobody's business. All I know is you probably wouldn't need Prego at this point in the game. Because, yeah, what would be the point, right? It would just be having one breeder that can't die very fast. Or at all, I mean, bleh. I don't know what I'm saying today. Lots of things that don't make sense. <laughs> all those popping noises. Uh, I don't think that's ever gonna wear off. It's just too funny. Ah, pick up all the money! Alright, should be able to get an Ultra Void. There we go. Look how ginormous it is! It's like terrifying! Oh man, that alien is gonna have an easy time targeting it. See, look, it eats a carnivore, and it drops a friggin' chest of gold doubloons, or whatever you want to call those coins. Oh, maybe that's what the currency is. Maybe we're using doubloons. That would be something, wouldn't it? But yeah, evidently those treasure chest thingies more than pay off their the cost of carnivores. Because they're a freaking treasure chest! It's amazing! It's like 2,000! I'm gonna buy more things like that. Because they're pretty nifty. Treasure! I like treasure! Alright. Need more coins! Oh, don't want to lose a treasure chest. There we go. These guys. Another carnivore. Another couple carnivores. There we go. Now I don't have to worry for a little while. Basically, just want to stock up on carnivores in case I forget to buy some after a while. Because, you know, I was pretty terrible at buying guppies for my carnivores back in the day. Back in the day. I say that like I've been doing this for years. Alright. Oh! I almost missed that treasure chest. Goodness. I'm gonna buy some laser upgrades because I don't want these guys to die. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Go there. Stay. Oh! It ate one of my ultra vores. That is super duper mean. I don't like those guys. They're not very nice. Rufus is just chilling, doing his stretches. So, anyone go to those crazy Black Friday sale thingies? I ended up going to Target that day, but I think everyone had already like ransacked the store because there was nobody left. It was just empty. It's pretty crazy. Surprisingly, the store was still pretty decently stocked. Those ultravores really have scary, scary faces. Alright. So we're about at the 20 minute mark, so I'm gonna try and finish this level as quickly as I possibly can. I'm gonna buy another ultravore. And some carnivores, and that should cover me. Oh my gosh, there's just so much money around that I just can't even pick it all up. It's crazy. Okay, don't go over there, please. Oh, you ate one of my ultravores! That makes me sad. We're okay though. What the? Okay, I need more 
of these things to pop up more babies for my carnivores. I got too many carnivores and not enough guppies. Oh no! What died? Oh, it was a carnivore. Okay. Oh no! It's so much money wasted. Okay, I got one egg piece down. I'm gonna buy more of these and more of these. That should just about cover us. Make a good, healthy ecosystem or whatever. Alrighty. Maybe I need another Ultra Gore. Well, who doesn't need more Ultra Gores, right? Treasure chests. That's just... That's the best deal for a fish. I'm guessing they're probably the fish that produce the most money. Because what the heck could be more than a treasure chest, right? Alright. Okay, don't eat all my things again. Please, please stay away. Stay away. Ah! No, you ate another Ultra Boar. Why would you be so mean? No, even the spines can eat stuff. It's just... Oh, God. It's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm gonna have to buy another Ultra Boar or something. Ah, I think I'll just... Save up. I think it'd be more convenient, more efficient to just wait and get my eggshell piece rather than buy another Ultra Bowl and set myself back a couple thousand. I don't know. I'm not very good at figuring out stuff like that. I'm good at math, but I'm not good at applying it. Which is funny because I'm best at physics and not math. Oh well, logic. Okay, nearly there, nearly there. I just hope another one of those aliens doesn't show up, because they seem to really, really enjoy eating my Ultra Boars. Like they're the most delicious fish or something. Well, I guess probably a lot of these fish might be edible or something. In which case, those things would probably be a tasty dish. Tasty dish of fish. Okay. Ah no, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. Stay away from that. No 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 no. You go down here. Down, stay. Good. Okay, nearly done. Alright. Just need a couple more treasure chests and I'm all set. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Oh, fancy. Come on, treasure. Yes. I keep not seeing the carnivores behind the ultravore. And then I'm all like, what? I could run out of carnivores. But turns out I had some. What did we get this time? Amp the electric eel. Oh dear. Yeah, that's a dangerous fish. So, basically I'm going to end the episode here, because it's been about 24-ish minutes. Um, in the next episode we're going to continue tank 4 with those crazy ultravores, and hopefully encounter less of those pretty terrifying skeleton fish things. Um, so I hope you enjoyed episode 6 of Insane Aquarium Deluxe. I'll see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching!